Okay, okay. Okay, cool, cool. Peace and love, peace and love. Peace and love. Yep, yeah. okay. Peace and love. Peace and love. Stress balls really help me out. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is happening. Cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. I'm Zen. I'm chill. I did my yoga this morning. Namaste. Namaste, bitches. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You guys have seen the title of this video. Yep. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yep. Yeah. Bitch, focus. Thank you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt. I, I wanted to make this video, but I just wanted time. Okay? You know what I mean? I wanted time. I wanted no drama. I wanted no drama llama in my life, you know what I mean? I wanted time. Oh, I don't know, man. I just needed time to think about what I wanted to say, you know? And I don't have time because he jumped the gun. I know this is a whole thing between... I haven't said his name yet in the video and it's gonna make it real when I say his name. Okay, cool, cool. I just walked out of an exam like a few hours ago. I just had an exam today, stress-free, but now I'm making this video because it's been long enough since the video happened. And yeah. Okay. Um, hey there, my dudes. I'm Laddie, and welcome to another video. <sighs> okay, sorry. Battery died for a minute there. Um, hey there, my dudes. I'm Laddie, and welcome to another video. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna say it, and when I say it, it's gonna make it real, okay? I was in an Onision video recently, not that big of a deal, uh, shouldn't have been that big of a deal, I was in there for like a few seconds, I'm gonna watch it with you guys if you guys haven't seen it, don't know if I wanna link it down below, don't wanna give that, you know what I mean, don't, don't, don't wanna give any extra stuff his way, but I guess we're gonna speak about uh, my thoughts on Onision, The Onion Boy, and oh, my god, it's been like a thing for a while, like Onision and the trans video, the, uh, I, I can't even speak. It's been a thing, Onision and the trans community, that's been like a whole thing that's been going on. Don't know why it's so linked, possibly because of his spouse being, um, like the person he's married to being a trans man or, well, sort of the, uh, originally non-binary and then sort of just questioning the whole thing and now they like to call Kai and things like that. That's a whole thing I'm gonna get into in this video. I kinda need to do more research before continuing this video so I'm gonna sit down on my phone. I've already done enough research to sort of like know my opinions, you know what I mean? Like I've been in the bubble of Anision and the community and everything that's happening but I just need to I just need to go away for a little bit, but but as I was saying, peace and love, peace and love, guys. You know what I mean. I didn't want any drama llamas. Didn't. This is an alpaca, but didn't want any drama llamas on my channel. But I guess we're going there, and that's why I am really, I am really putting off making this video, and that's why this intro is so long. So I guess we should just get into my thoughts and opinions on this whole matter. First off, the video I was in, I was about like at 4.50 in the video. Um, if I just check my phone here, um, someone called Danny James, who watches the channel, if you're watching, hey, thanks for you, thanks for telling me that I was in his video. Um, it's on the channel, his channel name now, uh, like Anision's channel name is like, uh oh bro, is that his second channel or something? I don't know. But it's it was on that channel, and he made a video on Blair White, and um, I, a while ago, made a video on Blair White, 
and just saying a few things. Anision only used a snippet of what I said and I guess we'll get into the video but I yeah I guess we should just get into it before I sort of try and summarize it and we'll just watch it together. It's a video called Who is Blair White and because I've sort of already watched the video you guys can go watch it if you want I guess I'll link it below. It's basically him saying like who is Blair White, what he thinks about Blair White I'm, it kind of is a negative video, he doesn't seem to like Blair White, don't know why he's making a video, but then again I made a video so I can't really say much, I'm a hypocrite, so. I guess we'll just skip to the part which is sort of my part, which is about 4.50ish in the video, and we'll have a look at what part, yeah. YouTuber who really, really likes drama looks like, and she gets a lot of attention for it, and she makes a living doing it. And if that's the way you want to live your life, centered on drama, then that's her prerogative. <laughs> Sorry. If that's the way you want to live your life centered on drama, I swear Onision's life is only drama. <laughs> I swear the only time I ever hear about Onision is some other thing of- anyway, sorry, let's just- But it's an endless war. I, it's just not something that normal, everyday folk can even deal with. Well, it's because I don't know what it's like to feel, and people often tell me that there's only- that really like this person's thing, hat. So why sh I don't know how I feel being complimented. Let's just go back to the beginning of the part that mine started before I talk over it. Well, it's because I don't know what it's like to feel, and people often tell me that there's only- that transgender isn't a thing, so why should I tell someone else that being non-binary is- That's my view on it, but- Immortal logic. A lot of people on a regular basis, like gatekeeping, where their other people are only valid if they are like themselves, just like the most bigoted people. If you're not me, you're not valid. That seems to be the constant idea on YouTube and around the internet. Look at this montage and, and just get the- just get the veils ready. Do you have one thing- Say- so He's just saying, if you're not me, your opinion's not valid. I'm sure I can find a few clips of Onision doing exactly that. I was born a certain way. I'm not allowed to have an opinion on an issue. Um, okay. That's fine. Um, I'll just hide your comment. <laughs> when you riot, loot, burn your cities down. Alright, let's pause here. Should Blair White be talking about black issues? You know, she's white and talking about black oppression, you know, that just seems a little bit extreme because of course she could never comprehend what it's like to be black. But I wanted to talk about trans issues. <laughs> wow. Like, I literally don't want drama and uh, the only reason why I'm making this video is because I'm like a small channel and I'm pretty sure. But then again, I was even smaller when I made that video. That video was me. Pre T, I'm now 11 months on T, almost a year on T, and um, that video back there was me pre T. Still same opinion. If like I, I don't know what it feels like to be non-binary, so why should I tell non-binary people that their opinion or like what they are doesn't isn't valid and their opinion isn't valid just because you know what I mean? I aren't, I'm not them. Um, so still same opinion matters. However, like he's using it to say. Um, which is fine, the one time, the one thing, Onision agreeing me with that is like, good, good, he's got an opinion. If he didn't, con like, literally contradict that opinion in end every other form that he's done, um, whether it be, I don't know, there's a whole video, and I know a lot of people, people also, I'm making a video about Calvin Gara soon as well, by the way. People are saying, like, what are your thoughts on Calvin Gara? I'm making a whole video on that as well, because people ask me every, like, minute of the day. Um, so I'm gonna make a video on that as well. However, he's made a whole video. I do not have that time on my hands. I'm in re exam period, like, that time, that sort of research. I'm also gonna link that below, because there's a lot of things, and a lot of people say, yeah, well, the stuff put in that video was a bit out of context. I've watched the Onision videos at the moment to do with, like, to do with, um, the top surgery. He was like, I don't want women to, like, like, I've watched them separately, so I don't think they're out of context at all. I looked at all the videos that, and there's crazy things that I've done in the past, and I don't really want to be praised by Onision, but I'm a naturally guilty person. I feel guilty about mostly everything I do. I like to apologize for everything. So, like, I even feel bad, even though, even before this video, before he said nice things about me, before he was like, I agree with this person, this person has insane logic, like he did in this video. Like, I had the opinion that, um, I still have the opinion that Onision ha- like, 
people aren't bad people, but some t like people do bad things. Okay, like um, you really need to go watch the whole video. But uh, if you if you have a look at video here of of Kai speaking about like how how they're identifying now their gender and things like this. So like if you have a look at that video, something I get asked a lot, a lot, a lot, especially on Instagram, is am I still non-binary and what are my pronouns? I don't necessarily identify with the term non-binary. Like if somebody asked me what my gender was, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm non-binary. So I haven't really been identifying with the term non-binary very much. I prefer to just tell people I'm a guy. As far as pronouns go, I am fine with he, him. I am fine with they, them. I prefer he, him. They, them does not bother me as long as we're not using she, her, or a neo pronoun. Good to go. Like Kai is obviously like trying to come to terms with his identity and stuff like that. I'm not sure if they've completely settled on he or they. I probably should look that up. But I, I definitely see signs of him being like a, a trans man or if, if they end up being non-binary then cool uh, and, and wanting to transition and things like this. And then on the other hand you have Onision making The Onion Boy making a... Um, the Onion Boy making a video being like I don't think you should mutilate your body like oh my god you know what I just need to have a look at this video I want to like react to it live. Top Cedry. I'm just gonna watch this Onision Top Cedry Should You Get It video just quickly because yeah. Hey guys, a really popular thing right now is top surgery. I see it come up a lot. That's where, let's say, you're a born female and you don't feel like your breasts are appropriate. You don't want to have breasts, you want to be flat chested like someone who is biologically a male would be. That's basically where top surgery comes in. A lot of people say, you know what, I'm gonna go pay thousands of dollars likely to get my breasts removed from my body and therefore they can feel more like what they identify as. That's a deep v-neck, Anision. That says a lot about a man. And this is great if you are actually a person who is 100%- Okay, I am- Okay. You don't need to censor the nipples, by the way. I know YouTube is a fucked up system sometimes and it gets flagged for the wrong reasons. I know he's probably doing it so that he doesn't have to like take down the entire video. You know what I mean? But you don't, with tra showing trans man like post-op top surgery, you don't have to censor the nipples, by the way. I show my nipples all the time on, uh, on videos. So, you know, <laughs> I don't get them taken down. Not sure of themselves. There are people, and I know this is a little bit taboo to say, but there are people who do things or feel certain ways because they're encouraged to by their peers. Like, let's say you know someone who's trans. You start asking yourself whether or not you're trans, and sometimes your feelings about yourself can be influenced by your relationship okay. with that person. For instance, if all true. your friends are, say, irreversible, I mean, if you remove your breasts, there's not a whole lot going back there. You could put in fake breasts, but it's not the same. You know, you, you, you can go this way, but if you go this way, it's you're always going to have the scars. You're always going to have something false inside you if you ever do try to go back. So, I'm just trying to make this video because I, firstly, admittedly, love breasts. Breasts are amazing to me, and I think it's tragic to see anyone remove them. But I also think it's tragic when people are born into a body that they don't feel comfortable with. So. This is me making a video encouraging people to really think about it. Once you're absolutely sure, like no doubt in your mind whatsoever, sure, take whatever action you feel is best for you, so long as it's legal. And, and I think one of the reasons why it's like, I think regrets based on, it's fine for him to say his opinion in a video. That is true though, just watching that last bit, little bit, you should wait, you should think about it, but um which which makes sense and stuff but just imagine like him saying um literally just imagine like what like some of the other videos he's made because me i personally in my heart and soul from all these other videos i've seen i want to be able to watch his video that i just watched there and be like be like i absolutely like hate that whole entire video but i actually agree with him for a lot of it but i just don't understand why he has to like it's as I said, the whole gatekeeping thing, just because you are doing, you, you know, I mean, you, uh. the issue I have with these videos is his whole centric thing around like how he finds breasts 
very, very attractive, and how, like, you know, I mean, it seems like in every video he has made about top surgery, he seems to mention um, how he finds breasts very, very attractive, and how he doesn't think anyone should ever mutilate their body that way, and how it should be any other option. Just imagine how, like, Kai feels with, like, Kai's husband saying that sort of stuff. Probably feels really, like, bad about the idea of if they want to get, you know what I mean, if he wants to get top surgery, like, it probably feels really bad about the idea that, um, like, his spouse, his, his husband, doesn't really want to, like, doesn't really like the idea of, so, like, someone that, it, like, it just feels very, uh, you know, uh, it just really isn't sending the right message, and I can hopefully, I can really hope, because I like to see the best in people, I can hope and pray that, um, in, in personal life, other than the videos that have made Anision supportive of Kai and wanting, you know what I mean, Kai wanting to get, like, if Kai wants to get top surgery or transition, like, I'm really hoping he's supportive of it. Um, and there's the other videos where he said um, that he prefers to sort of like tomboy type women and um, Kai is not that, Kai is transgender, so, you know, when being a tomboy woman isn't really part of it, just being a, a, a sort of gay guy or bisexual, like, trans guy. Lol, he gay. Uh, he literally made a video mate saying, I'm gay and I failed as a husband. It's actually a really good video and I agree with most of the shit in that video. So, it was on about gender and, uh, yeah, so, hope, yeah, that was a good video, but my other opinions in this video are still valid, but, you know, yeah, cool, yeah. Um, or, you know what I mean? So, I think it's, it just really puts across the wrong message to Kai, and that, that's my main issue at the moment with Anision, because all these videos he makes, he does make some videos that's like, why are you getting involved with the trans community like this, you know what I mean, like, why do you have to make this video, people are unsure about themselves enough. I get people sending me messages every day, people from the community, I love you guys, please continue sending me messages, don't worry about it, like I'm not moaning about it, I'm just saying, I get messages every day of people being like, I really don't know what I, what I should do, should I do top surgery? And much like what Anisian thinks, I, I say you should wait, you should really think about it, because top surgery is a big thing. However, don't let it, you know, I mean, don't let it backtrack you on how you feel just because someone else on the internet is saying, oh, don't do it, breasts are nice, <laughs> um, and, and, and stuff like that, because I've got top surgery and, you know. So, um, the videos Anision makes are not as bad as, like, s when, when you hear them out of context, but a lot of the other things he's done that are inexcusable, like when he filmed his, his ex, um, having a mental breakdown. <laughs> no, 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 this, it's okay, it's okay, look, I'll show you, I'll show you. I'll show you. No, 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 I'll show you. Look. I mean, his ex had serious mental health, con like, condition and issues, and he just filmed it. Why would you film it? Why wouldn't you just get them help rather than film it? And I understand there are reasons behind it that he said, because I'm a big old-time fan of Anision, right? And I recently started to have this sort of, like, this, this, this... I, I hate the word, I can't really hate, I don't really hate people, I always try and mi find a mid-ground. If you guys have been watching me for long enough, that's probably why I'm not getting as many subs as other people are, because people like, they like two sides to things, they like left and right, both in, in politics and in life, in opinions. I am a centrist, I always find a centre point, a midline between everyone's opinions. Okay, look guys, it's been a little while since I filmed that first video and I'm just come to editing it and I was just watching through some Anision videos and I kind of think I know what is so, like, jarring about sometimes I watch his videos and this um, gender dysphoria video that I'm about to show you a few clips of um, in a minute is is a fundamental video where I sort of do this weird sort of roller coaster of oh, I'm agreeing with him on that, oh, I really don't like him saying that, oh, I'm agreeing with him on that, oh, Oh, that's hip hypocrisy. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I agree. So, like, as me, I always find something to agree with someone, something to not. But um, I'll just show you a few clips here of things that, like, like I, I actually agreed with him sort of saying. Okay, like, I think that most trans people are awesome. I think that most trans people can be really, really cool. But I see this small group of very loud trans people who feel like they should be the gatekeepers, who feel like they should decide who is or is not 
a, a valid trans person. What's crazy, what's totally, quite literally crazy, is you have a lot of people in the trans community who will invalidate someone who doesn't mutilate their body. They will invalidate someone who doesn't go on T. And that is the toxic aspect of the trans community. Maybe stop supporting people like numerous YouTubers who are intolerant towards trans people and they play gatekeeper. They tell people that they're not valid for this, this, or this reason, when really it's none of their business. Trans isn't some kind of elitist society, okay? It's just the T on LGBT. It's supposed to be a rainbow flag welcoming all genders, welcoming all people, okay? Whatever you want to call yourself, I don't see how me making your life more difficult and rejecting you makes the world a better place. Stop being such dickheads to each other. That's the ultimate message of this video. And I know a lot of you are gonna respond by being a dickhead to me, and that's fine. But I want you to at least be nicer to yourself and be nicer to other people like you. A lot of that stuff, I'm actually there like, okay, I can understand there's, there is a lot of gatekeeping, there's a lot of toxicity within my own community, um, the trans community itself, you know. Um, however, there are, there are some clips here um, which I will show you in a sec that just shows, and I think I know what it is now. It's, Anision has a fundamental lack of understanding as to what gender dysphoria is and what it feels like. Especially when he's saying a few clips here. Um, they say, uh, you know, gender dysphoria, nobody likes having it. This, I, I feel like it's a little frustrating to hear. Um, it's a little frustrating to just generally deal with because here's the thing. You are who you are, right? No changing that. Don't you think it's a little bit miserable to just look at your body and hate it? And so a lot of them go so far as to mutilate their body, and it is by definition mutilation. They cut off their breasts, they will cut off their male genitalia, they will uh, get fake breasts, they will sometimes get fake genitalia or uh, modified genitalia and so forth. This is clearly something that isn't healthy because there's so many risks that come with it. Like for instance, just going on tea alone, testosterone can make you bald. You could lose your hair. Like, who wants to be a bald dude? Probably not a lot of people. Like, I don't want to be bald. I could be bald one day, but I prefer to keep my hair. You know, most people would. Your situation in this time and age is a liberation. You have been given the opportunity to not be like everyone else in a way that's not disabling. You know, you may have cried because you don't feel like you are the gender that you were assigned, but lucky you, you don't have to be that gender. You could be whatever gender you want, and yet you still find some way to feel sorry for yourself because you weren't born the gender that you wanted, okay? If somebody came in here and started saying, girl, 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 you're a girl, to me, I identify as a boy, right? People start saying, hey, miss, how you doing? Personally, I would play with it. I'd play with it a lot. I'd be like, oh, sweetie, all the time. That same sentiment is actually something I hear from cisgender people a lot. They'll say, oh, well, if I was born in the wrong body, I'd roll with it. Or if I was misgendered and people thought I was a woman all the time, I wouldn't care, so why do you care? Um, well, you're not and you don't know what it's like, <laughs> so. Um, it sounds somewhat like you're invalidating our experience, which literally earlier on in the same video, you said that you wouldn't, you don't like that, this invalidation of people's experiences. So that's the issue I have here. I don't see why you're, you're so fixated on this, thing that doesn't matter. It doesn't. Gender? Are you kidding? It doesn't matter. At all. It really doesn't. Your hardships in life come from your own mind in a big way. You need to get that homophobic, transphobic, racist, or whatever person's in your head out. Okay? Because you're not going to heal watching someone like Calvin. Okay? You're not going to heal your hatred. You may feel better, more accepted as a person who hates themselves, as a trans person. You may feel better that, oh, someone else hates their dysphoria and hates themselves. I feel better about hating myself. But that doesn't seem healthy, does it? It doesn't seem even remotely productive to hear about how 
unlucky you are every day, how unfortunate you are every day, what a victim you are every day. It sounds like you're just trying to perpetuate you feeling sorry for yourself. And I swear to you, if you talk to a blind person, a deaf person, if you talk to somebody who's crippled from the neck down, etc., they would kill to be you. And he is literally um, sort of diminishing the life, um, like the lifestyle and the livelihoods of trans people that have to deal with this gender dysphoria. Um, and I know obviously I can't, I'm not myself handicapped in another way, but um, I think it, when I'm just looking at some of the things he does say, especially about this mutilation of the body, um, it's rather diminishing as to like we're doing it just because we don't need to. It's like a necessity thing. A lot of it is um, a life or death, whether we do this or, you know what I mean, we don't continue on. Um, I think that's the thing that I kind of wanted to add in there that's been jarring with me. Uh, the, uh, may the most things that I disagree with him on is his lack of fundamental understanding of what it feels to need to change your body that way, what it feels like to have that gender dysphoria. Um, and then, like, he's there's a, there is a lot of hypocrisy. I'm not saying I'm not a hypocrite. I think humans, we do hi hypocritical shit all the time, just, just as people. And, uh, and so, you know, I'm not saying I'm not, I'm just trying to find this middle point. I'm trying to find why he's so easily dislikable by me, at least some, some of his videos I watch. And then half of the time I'll be like, actually, he's making sense. It does seem like he he's he is rather controlling and opinionated person, and people don't like controlling and opinionated people. Um, same with like why the whole Calvin Gareth thing. People always ask me if I like him or not because he is opinionated. People don't like opinionated people, but then again, they also don't seem to like people who sit on the fence too much. I'm always on the fence. I always like to find a midpoint. I never really hate or love someone, so I'm sort of always neutral. Um, so I think there's nothing much I can do to win this. I think, yeah, my opinion's just... Um, but just based on that, like, I don't like Anision as a person, but just because I don't like Anision as a person doesn't mean that any of his opinions are invalid. I've just sort of a roundup thing. I don't think necessarily we'd be good friends. Not like he was thinking of being good friends with me anyway. I'm um, just an insignificant person on the internet. But I wanted to make this video seeing as, you know, Calvin Gara, a bunch of other people have made videos based on him. But anyway, uh, in this video was mainly about me being in that video. Um, I remember being a fan when I was watching the videos of him and his ex, um, like filming his ex having a mental breakdown. I was thinking, oh, she's fucking, she's just fucking crazy. Yeah, it's so funny that he's filming her. But now I've grown up and I'm like, that's not cool. I don't know if he's made an apology video about that, but he may have. Um, and I generally think, I don't think he's, I just think he maybe needs to just stop it's time to stop. <laughs> um, I don't really know what else to say. I mean, I was in his video and he was nice about my opinions and I, you know, some of the things, some of my opinions align with Anision's opinions, but it doesn't really stop. Just because they've said some things you agree with doesn't really negate the things that they've done in the past. I'd like to do, have a more discussion about it. I may like make a live stream about it where I ask you guys about your opinions. Cool, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't really know what I was doing in this video. Hopefully I haven't caused any drama or anything. I'm trying to stay on the center line. Still don't like him though, but I tried to, I tried, I tried to find some good points about his arguments and things, <laughs> um, as I always try to do. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Please don't leave me guys, but if you guys disliked my opinions on Onision, you can leave. I give you a, I give you permission. Um, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you're for an Aeson, against an Aeson, we love that discussion. Yes, I'm, I feel like I'm Philip DeFranco here being like, whatever your opinions, leave them in the comments down below. <laughs> um, and, uh, and yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye. Oh, this entire thing, like I've been watching some videos, I watched all the videos of people like against an Aeson, he's done some shit stuff and then I watched videos that Onision's put up where he's like, you guys are ruining my marriage and you guys call CPS and shit. Oh my God, because I still don't like him necessarily as a person because of all the things, bad things, bad things he's done. But you know what I mean? I like to empathize too much with people. 
And yeah, whoo, I guess, <sighs> I don't really know. I don't know, I hate him. I don't really ever hate anyone, I dislike him. And then I don't quite go on the verge of liking him, but you know what I mean, I just then feel bad for him. But then I realize the shit he's done in the past. And I just, you know me, I find it hard to really hate someone, no matter what they've done, I find it really hard to hate someone. But, mm. but then again, like now I think about it, the videos he makes, of course he's gonna be backing himself up because you know, so it could be just, but no, but no, it could be, he could actually be meaning the stuff he's saying. But no, no, he could just be backing himself up, it's fine. This is, this is my inside head. I have a good angel, I have a non-opinionated angel, and then one that's just like, just fucking hate on everyone, and then the other one that's like, but maybe, maybe they don't mean the bad things they say. <laughs> I try and see the good in way too many people, guys. <sighs> I'm gonna make a proper video on this another time, okay? When I've gone back through it, but I just wanted to get through the fact that I was in an Anision video and he complimented me and I don't know how to get past that fact. I don't know to feel bad that he complimented me or good that he complimented me or like, ah. Uh. <laughs>